Well, that's pretty much it for this project. As far as the uh, getting the door done, uh, fit on the fit on the truck. Uh, I actually put off having the uh, lettering done on the doors. I'm going to have, uh, like I told uh, Peak there in one of the first videos, I'm going to have a uh, you know a logo put on the side, uh, Dead ID in the garage, like you see in some of my videos. I'm going to have that put on the side of the truck. I actually contacted the guy to do it last year, but the uh, problem was I never got the doors finished, so there was no point in, in uh, giving him the doors to do. So, But now they're done, so uh, I'm going to move on to a couple other parts of the project here, and uh, probably in the meantime, I'll uh, pull the doors off and bring them the doors, and you can uh, get that done. But uh, at least get a good start on it. But I think I'm moving in a pretty good direction as far as uh, time frame. We got a wicked winner this year. It ended up taking, uh, you know, taking me into April here. I'm almost into May now, so I wanted to be further along. I actually wanted to be able to do some work, you know, throughout the winter. But uh, you know, we probably had it in places six feet of snow out here, and uh, you know, out in front of the garage, it was a big. The ground was froze. It was all uh, all humped up, and I had an ice melt and water running in under the doors. And it wasn't pretty. But anyway, we ended up getting a late start, so here we are anyway, back at it. Uh, I think next I'm going to move on to the uh, to the back end. I'm going to go ahead and get my suspension uh, lined up and line the rear end housing up and probably set a drive shaft in place and get, get that going, get that made up. Uh, once the rear end's in place, i got to put the uh, coilovers on, make the cross member. i got, I got plenty to do. But I wanted to get this part done so that I could get the doors out to the uh, to the guy to have him uh, you know, do the lettering. So I think it uh, turned out pretty well. So I'm happy with it. So I guess that's all that matters. But uh, I think it uh, I think it looks like it's folks knew I kind of wanted this thing to look like it'd been a you know a hot rod for 50 years. So you know that was why I didn't uh, I, I originally thought about maybe making the whole thing bare metal, you know the whole truck from front to back. And uh, but I decided against it because the rust was pretty cool looking that was on it. So you know, like I say, the side skirt doesn't match. There's a couple other pieces that really doesn't match, but uh, it, it's the way it was. So I mean, you know, the way it weathered and faded, it, it did it on its own. It's all about however it was sitting in the woods, and uh, it is what it is. So uh, I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll look good as a finished product product. I think it will. You know, everybody that's seen it so far in person thinks it's great. You know, they, they really like the looks of it. And I made it the inside big enough so that uh, I can ride in it. So if I can ride in it, anybody can. But I'm anxious to get moving. And uh, these videos probably aren't going to be quite as uh, detailed as this last one was, but I had a bunch of questions when I did the other door. And uh, so I figured maybe some of these uh, videos will answer some of the questions that people had for, uh, for the other side. So when I move on to the back, like I said, my videos probably will be a little bit further apart. Uh, instead of, uh, you know, getting in depth with a lot of the stuff, I'm just going to get this thing done. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll get Richard Peake up here. He's, uh, he's the Steven Spielberg of the YouTube videos around this area anyway. So we'll get him up here and maybe get him to do a, a decent video. And, uh, you know, when I get a little bit further along. But here we are for now anyway.